Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am back with another video. Back this time, not with the spring set, but in this video, I'm going to be doing a gold ombre set with some bling. So without further ado or rambling, I'm going to get right into the video. The acrylic powders I will be using are just two for this set. It's going to be Nail House's 24K, which is this glow gold glitter <laughs> right here. My favorite glitter from them. And then I will be using Misika's Cover Pink. The tips that I have on are, of course, also from Nail House. They are their 3XL square tips. And I am also using their size 16 Kalinsky brush, as well as their Pro Monomer. And anyone interested in shopping Nail House can find the link to their site in the description below, as well as use my code Portia for savings on your order. So I'm going to begin with ombre um, this glitter, which is again 24K from Nail House on all of these nails. And after that, I'm going to finish the ombre um, with Me Secrets Cover Pink. And when I ombre um, with the Me Secrets Cover Pink, I'm not going to focus so much on making the ombre um, perfect because I will be bringing this gold glitter on top of that nude. However, when I do that, like when I do my ombres that way, um, I do like to go in with doing the ombre regular first and then, um, but I think that's the only way. I don't know how anyone else do it, but that's the way I do it and I think that's the way to do it. And then I'm going to go in, like I said, with the um, gold glitter, like an ombre on top of the nude. So you all will see that. Um, and this video also is not going to be as long as normal. It's a little quicker today because these nails took me like no time to do. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy watching this application. Y'all, this glitter is so pretty. Like, this is literally my favorite glitter from them. And I have so many backups. I just actually ordered a four ounce of it as well. Because I just need this glitter. Like, if it was to ever go out of stock or something like that, I would just literally cry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But no, it's my favorite glitter. And they do carry them in four ounces. And don't sleep on No House glitters, y'all. I feel like me, like me personally, I feel like No House has some of the best glitters. Like, hands down and there's a lot available still on their website like don't flip on nail house glitters y'all if y'all have not tried any nail house glitters check them out like there's some they have similar to this one they have like a blush one like this one they have a blue one it's called Elsa. they have a purple one i believe that's called storm or stormy stormy or something i'm not sure but y'all they have a ton of glitters do not sleep on nail house glitters at all like don't but yeah First of all, y'all, sorry for that last clip. I was eating Starburst. <laughs> but I wasn't eating while I was talking, but that makes sense. Anyway, also, um, what I was going to say. Oh, sorry that I'm a little bit out of frame. I didn't notice um, during the video that I was a little bit out of frame. But yeah, also, this glitter is super, like, um, like, it's good to have, like, a gold. Like, if you don't have any gold glitters, this one is the one to get. It has, like, um, little chunks of, like, silver holographics in them it's just so pretty y'all like i love it so much it's not like your typical gold glitter and i haven't seen anything like it so i just love the glitter so much but anyway going in now and i'm wearing with again mia secrets cover pink and like i told y'all i'm not gonna like be focusing on this ombre at all i'm literally gonna just be putting it on there because i'm gonna be ombre the gold on top so i wasn't like it wasn't important to focus on the ombre and like a really ombre i just kind of put the nude there because I'm going to be, again, ombre that gold over top. And the ombre does not matter at all. Like, the nude part of it, if that makes sense. So, yeah.
so today is currently St. Patrick's Day. Um, of course, not when y'all watching this, but when I'm um, editing this, it is St. Patrick's Day currently. And um, I don't celebrate holidays, but what did y'all do? Like, what did y'all do on this day? I know some of y'all be like celebrating holidays and going full force and all that. <laughs> Let me know what y'all did in the comment section below. But um, I did a green set today. And some of you had saw the sneak peek of it on my community tab post. Not because it's St. Patrick's Day, I did green. I haven't wanted to do green. But, um, yeah, so I just did a green set today. And I can't wait for y'all to see that one. Well, I can't wait because it wasn't, like, my absolute favorite. But, um, yeah, that will be that video will be coming up pretty soon. Actually, it's the next video. So, it will be the video after this one. Because this was my last video that I had, like, pre-recorded. And I just filmed that one today. So, it will be in the next video. You all will see that set. Also, thank you all for all of the love on my last video. Like, y'all love those notes a lot, but so did I. So, and I appreciate y'all for showing all the love and always showing up and supporting your girl. Uh, if y'all have not seen that video, go check it out. It will be, I'm gonna link, link it in the description. It's literally the video previous to this one. So, yeah, check that video out if you have not already. All right, y'all. That new gave me a little hell. I ain't gonna lie. Because <laughs> it was drying up pretty fast. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and go in with the gold and ombre on top of the nude really quickly. And then I'm gonna move on into encapsulating and then neck shaping and filing. I really love the way glitter looks ombre on top of the nude part. Like on top opposed to underneath. I like it both ways, but I really, it's something about it being on top um, for me. But, um, and then this look, this went better with the look I was going for, for this set. And it's also, again, like I said, why I didn't ombre the nude like I would regularly, because I was going to be covering it up anyway with um, ombre and the gold on top, if that makes sense. So if you ever do this kind of look with ombre and any glitter on top, go ahead and save yourself the time with not even trying to like ombre for real, if that makes sense. Like take your time, like really ombre because you're going to cover it up anyway. Okay, y'all, this is how we're looking with the application complete pre-encapsulation. And I can't get over, and I probably never will get over how beautiful this glitter is. Like, y'all do not have this glitter in y'all arsenal. Like, you must have it. It's, again, 24K from Nail House. Gotta have. But anyway, moving on, I'm going to go ahead and use Mia Secrets Clear Acrylic to encapsulate these nails quickly. And then we're going to move into shaping and filing. Also, too, I don't know why I'm just not remembering like this, but I'm just remembering that I know I mentioned that these are Nail House's 3XL square tips. However, I did cut them down a bit because I was going for a shorter length or a shorter look for this set. Um, they are a bit longer than this here.
these are such a vibe in themselves like plain like this glitter is so pretty but we don't do plain over here so of course we're gonna be adding some bling but for now we're gonna move into shaping and filing and for those of you who may be new or anything like that i don't mind saying again and again <laughs> that for those of you who are interested in a full in-depth shaping tutorial you can find that video linked in the description below um to that tutorial here we're not gonna go in depth at all i'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys pretty much watch but I do, 10 out of 10, highly recommend that video for anyone who need, you know, a few tips on shaping. It is, again, linked in the description below. Also, too, for any of those who may just be, you know, stumbling upon my channel or just may not know, I do have a bunch of tutorials on my channel. You can find most of them in a the link or, like, you know, like, the most, like... I wouldn't say the most important ones, but like really in-depth tutorials about like the main things are linked in the description below, like my application videos, both the older one and the updated one. Um, I have also the my pop-off method down there too, as well as um, a few videos you'll find down there. And as well, like I know I have a bunch of videos and it may be hard to find some things that y'all are looking for that y'all sometimes ask for because a lot of the times um, I already have those videos on my channel. So I do have a whole playlist on my channel to where you'll be able to find things uh, much easier like in categories. All you've got to do is go to my channel and hit the playlist tab and then they will all pop up. You can click each one and find and you know look at all the videos throughout them. But yeah. And also, of course, like every single video that I've made is not there, like not every single one. I have like 200 plus videos, but the ones that are there are like some of the core like um, tutorials that you all may be looking for, like all different type of things y'all find there. And I also do have a d couple of different categories of nails, like for instance, spring nails, Halloween nails, Hello Kitty nails. Like I have a couple of those categories. Like I said, they're all not there, but I have a few categories that y'all can check out. And you may find the video that you're looking for um because there are a lot but yeah i try to make it a little easier for y'all and like i said though there may be some y'all have to scroll just a little bit back for anyway though going in now with my extra fine five and one carbide drill bit so go ahead and define the shape underneath all of these nails then after that i'm going to shape the tip of them straight still in my cuticles and then we're gonna move on to the bling also, anyone interested in this drill bit can find it in my Amazon storefront, as well as this drill. Um, I get a few questions about that. This drill is from Amazon as well. You can find that in my Amazon storefront too. And I saw a question recently about my nail lamp, if I'm not mistaken. The nail lamp that I use is also from Amazon. Y'all get everything from Amazon for real. If it's not like acrylic powder or charms, it's definitely from Amazon. Um, so check out my Amazon storefront. It's linked in the description below. A majority of the products that I use are linked um, there. So yeah, you'll find them there. This drill, my nail lamp, this drill bit, um, a bunch of things there that are very good and useful. Um, I don't like to link things that I've never tried or don't find like um, very good. So yeah, check my storefront out. You will find most of the products there.
all right y'all this is how we're looking with a shaping and filing complete i just love a good shape like it's just so satisfying to look at but we're gonna move on next to buffing and cleaning the nails so that we can get into this bling y'all Okay, y'all. So the type of look that I'm going for is kind of like a kind of like very much like think gold luxury junk nail, but like bling, like I don't know, give me very much like treasure. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna go for that kind of look. Um going with the like ombre. So I'm gonna be using, of course, modular link adhesive to apply all of these charms and stones. I'm gonna be using golden shadow crystals. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna be using also some of these like dollar sign charms. I got those out. I also got a couple of more charms out that I end up not using. I kind of just went with the flow and I felt it like, looked right. So yeah, I'm pretty much gonna not like talk so much and let y'all watch the process. So y'all, I totally forgot and thought about it just now, like during this video, that I totally forgot to top coat all the nails first because 
if I don't, I'll have to literally go around all of this bling with top coat. And I hate having to do that. I hate it so bad. So I went ahead and sprayed a little bit of me cigarette activator spray so that the glue that I already applied can dry up while I go ahead and um, top coat the nails that I did not already go um, in with, with bling or in on with bling. And yeah, um, I ended up forgetting my thumb because I do top coat and cure my thumb separately but then I forgot about that and I ended up going in with bling um because I forgot about it and yeah but if you're gonna do this look or style or whatever like try to remember to go ahead and top coat your nose first before adding the bling or I like to do it also with my 3d flowers and stuff because I just don't like going around all of that like it's just tedious I hate having to go in with a small liner brush and going around everything is just I don't like it so yeah totally forgot to do that go ahead and do the top coat first y'all how pretty is this glitter top coated like this glitter is so beautiful and i'm sure y'all seen it a few times i've done a few sets with this glitter or a few sets with this glitter y'all it's just so beautiful and it's even more beautiful with the top coat on top but anyway um as y'all can see i'm just going in and placing all of these things randomly where i feel like it looks right no particular weight or order um yeah and when i was done with the set i was in love and it's definitely a set that i will in the future like when i start wearing nails again um will have like done often because you can never go wrong with gold gold is like a very like beautiful color and pretty much go with anything for real for the most part like i love like i will definitely do these nails again on myself in the future they were so bomb and i also have the silver glitter to this one um like i said don't sleep on no house glitters y'all don't do it but <laughs> I definitely will be doing the silver version of this one very soon. Like, I can't wait. Okay, y'all, so I went ahead and sprayed my Mia Secret Activator Spray. And the reason y'all always see me spray it away from, like, the table or whatever, or, like, my desk is because I don't want to spray, spray it on that plastic one because it will turn it white. Um, my Swarovski Crystal Box is, like, kind of, like, it has, like, white patches on the outside of it because I sprayed that on there accidentally and I found out that that does not go well with plastic at all. It will turn it white and will mess it up. But also to that strong that uh spray is very strong so for one don't want to roll my box and then for two i don't want to spray it in my face but anyway 
um, I'm done applying all of the bling now. I'm gonna go ahead and um, finish top coating these nails and show y'all my final results. these are the most gorgeous like i just love these so much like i cannot wait to do these on myself again in the future like the same exact way not the same exact way but the same thing if that makes sense like i can't wait these are super bomb like i did not want to take these off at all but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and enter my final results here in a moment but look at these y'all these are gorgeous i love these so much okay okay i'm gonna insert my final footage These are just perfect. Like, I have no other words. If you all enjoyed this video and love these nails as much as I do, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Don't forget, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for more bomb content, of course. And turn on those bell notifications so that you're notified each and every single time your girl drop a new video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.